Brothers and sisters in Islam, sometimes life throws a spanner in the works. You might be planning a marriage with a sister or a brother in Islam and then everything is going well but then suddenly the marriage is called off. You might be planning for a massive holiday but subhanAllah something happens and then again the holiday is called off. You might be planning for a beautiful life with a few children and a beautiful house in the prairie and uh, mashallah to be a, a righteous religious family but subhanAllah something goes wrong. Your health strikes you or something else happens and unfortunately this beautiful dream that you had doesn't really pan out like your dream. No doubt life does have spanners in its place for us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised us in the Quran that He would test us again and again in many different ways. And we will surely test you. Be shay'im min al khawfi wal jur by some things of fear and poverty, right? Of of hunger. Wal ju'i wa naqsi min al amwali wal anfusi wa thamarat and loss of life and wealth and business and, and commerce. Know that Allah will test us in many different ways. However, give glad tidings to the patient ones. Those who when a musiba, a difficulty strikes them, they say, verily, we belong to Allah and to Him is our return. So brothers and sisters in Islam, don't be negative when something uh, negative strikes you. Yeah? Remember, the negativity is you perceiving it. Actually, it's actually positive because everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does is always for a positive cause. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us. He wants good for us and He wants us to be better and, and have an eternal life in goodness in Jannah. So no doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He decrees something for us, must have a good intention behind it. There is a silver lining in the cloud. And if you think things are not working out for you, that's because perhaps you need to open up your mind and look for the positivity in something. Perhaps Allah wants to educate us about something. Perhaps Allah wants us to have patience. Perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to increase our reward. Perhaps Allah wants to save us from something evil and harmful for us, right? So think about it. We look at things in a very narrow perspective. Allah looks at things globally. There's nothing called pure evil in Islam. There's nothing purely evil. Even the loss of your wife, even the loss of your daughter and husband, even the loss of your children, the loss of your parents is not evil. At the end of the day, there must be a lesson in it for us, a benefit, benefit in it for the believer, either in reward, either in patience, either in coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be positive and inshallah ta'ala, your difficulty will become easy to bear. Zakumullah khair, assalamu alaikum wa